What's happening there folks? G the Hat Guy here. Coming at you with another hat related video here. Okay, the title of this video is Five Types of Headwear with Air Flap Covering. Okay, that's the title of this video. Okay, and uh, you see the question there that was included in the thumbnail for the video. What's your kind of air flaps? Okay, so in the comment section, be sure to tell me, do you wear caps or any type of uh, headwear hats with uh, air flaps? What's your take on that? What do you think about that? Let me know in the comment section. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Okay, like, share with somebody else who's interested in this kind of content related to hats. Okay, got awesome content coming your way. Okay, so let's dive right into it. As you can see here, I have a uh, newsboy cap here. This is a European style newsboy cap. Okay, or as they call it, maybe flat caps in certain areas, you know, in, in the British, you know, areas, whatnot. Not sure what to call it, uh, you know, call them in uh, Italian, you know, uh, regions and other parts of Europe, Eastern Europe, etc. But yeah, you can see this one. It's got uh, the eight and a quarter panel side, almost like a tweed type. It's got a little bit of a tweed type effect. Uh, it's multicolor. It's got navy. It's got some yellowish in there. A little bit of brownish tones in there as well. Center button, eight and a quarter panel cut on the top. Okay. Uh, and it's got the taper around the back there. Okay. It gives it extra, extra length. To cover the back of the neck area and of course the ear flap you see on that one there okay i'm gonna flip it over bear with me here i'm recording with one hand trying to show you with another hand you can see it's got the ear flaps on there okay and uh yeah this one is sort of like a fleece uh polyester uh fleece uh ear flaps of course which is pretty common with a lot of uh hats with ear flaps whatnot um you know it's got the extra like i said uh fabric here length you know around the neck the neck um uh, uh fabric there you know around the base actually the base of the of the head you know in the back of the neck you know this, that's what this for extra covering whatnot so that's really nice um yeah so it's got the fleece in it you know very nice uh eight, eight and a quarter panel st style and this one is actually imitation leather that's not real leather that's imitation leather on this one it's got a woven uh uh, what is it? Uh, polyester, uh, rayon type, uh, sweatband there, you know, so you see the, the visor is sewn down. It's got the stitches on there. Very really nice European style, you know, on this one here. So that's one. Okay. With the air flaps. Okay. I'm going to grab another one here. Show you what else, uh, we have coming up. Just put this one back onto the rack here. Bear with me. All right. Got that. Let's see. And then we have another one here. Uh let's see what I got for you here. Okay, have this one. It's another eight and a quarter panel side. Uh, uh eight and a quarter panel type of newsboy cap. It's got a center button. This has got mixed in colors. As you can see it's got some brown, some beige tones in there, a little bit of black in there as well. Okay. It's got a stitch down visor on it. Oh, this one is a button. Yeah, this has got a button in there. Yeah, I don't know if you can see. You see that button underneath there? Yeah, it's got a button down on both sides. It's got a button in there. Uh huh. Yeah, and then uh, again, this has the extension for the you know base of the back of the neck on there. The fabric, extra fabric. Yeah, this one. It's got some fleep on the inside, but it's got a matching fabric for the uh same as the hat you know whatnot uh it's got a little taper on the edges with the brown you know give you a little contrast look there and i'm gonna flip it over with my other hand here bear with me and you can see it's got fleece on the inside okay to keep the ears warm you know nice protection for your ears whatnot yeah so you see it's got a really nice look on there Okay, again, this is another newsboy style, style cap, you know, flat cap, you know, for the Europeans, the, the Brits, whatnot. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so that's what you're looking at. Really nice, you know, whatnot. So that's number two. I'm going to grab another one here. Put that one down. And this is a uh, 
baseball star cap. It's a baseball star cap. Okay, it's got the center button there. It's got uh, more of a uh, check type pattern design, navy with some black tones in there, whatnot. A little bit of, uh, I see like a forest green in there. Maybe like a, a red as well. It's got the visor like a baseball cap, like I said. It's got the Chanel type fabric, which is almost like a artificial wool imitation, whatnot. Uh, that's very common in a lot of jackets and coats for the winter time. Yeah, you see, it's got the air flap on there. This one's got the lining, polyester lining, woven sweatband on the inside there. Yeah, so that's number three uh, piece of headwear with the uh, air flap for you there. All right. Okay, that's that one. Folks, if you're learning something, you're gaining something, you're being entertained, please show your love. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. We've got awesome hat related content. You know, cap headwear content coming your way from G the Hat Guy channel. Okay, like, share, subscribe with somebody else who might be interested in this type of comment, okay? Also, follow our uh, uh, hat group on Facebook, okay? It's called uh, The Hat Lounge. So, you search for The Hat Lounge on Facebook. I'm trying to be more active on Facebook. The Hat Lounge with G the Hat Guy. That's the name of the hat group. The Hat Lounge, Lounge with G the Hat Guy, just like it sounds. Okay, so thumbs up the video, like the video, appreciate the support. Okay, now the next one we're going to show you here, it's uh, a winter style fleece cap. Okay, so winter style fleece cap, it's got more of an aviator type look, like an aviator leather uh, uh, cap, whatnot, style. Okay, this is all fleece. It's uh, polyester woven fleece is what it is. See, uh, this got more of a longer extension. Very nice on those very cold days. You know, definitely uh, whatnot. This comes in handy. It's another piece of headwear that uh, pretty popular with uh, air flaps on it. Yeah, you have that one there. Same fleece on the inside. This one is nothing fancy. Really simple. Just slap it on and uh, you're ready to go. Put on your coat and all that good stuff. You know, you're ready to get in there, you know, outside to that cold. And do what you got to do. You know, take on the day, what now. So this is all fleece, as you can see on that one there. All right. So that's number four there we got there. Okay. Uh, yeah. I got another one coming up for you here. Let's see. What do we have? We have another piece of uh, headwear here. Let's see. It's got the uh, air flaps on it. Yeah, boom. There you go, folks. Yeah, we've got your, uh, this is like uh, like an ivory style cap. There's several things going on with this one here. You know, it's got the charcoal gray check pattern design. Got some black in there, gray. It's got some burgundy red, some, you know, in there. As you can see, this is uh, that thick, heavy wool. This is a very strong uh winter cap you know this is not on the light side this is a very strong and heavy on this very very super like you know getting to zero degrees below <laughs> this thing comes in handy you know uh believe me this is this is a very uh good one here you don't find a lot of hats being made uh caps being made like this uh really anymore you see a lot of cheaper stuff but this has got that heavy duty type wool that uh you know, if you even if you could get it in the glove, whatnot, you know, it'll keep your hands really warm. You know, it's got that sheep type type wool, but it's got a matching air flap. You see the air flap on there. This is like that Dockman style. You know, um, old school. Even though it's cut like an ivory cap, it's not cut like a typical uh, Dockman's cap. But you know, this this is the kind of cap that you see like old school. Uh, 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 folks that work in the shipyard and on the docks, that kind of thing, you know, they used to wear these, you know, as well, whatnot. Um, yeah, and you see, you know, at the base of it, it's got a black uh, binding, you know, the base of it there, you know, kind of give it, uh, you know, some additional visual uh, appeal, I guess, you know, but very nice cap, you know, it's got some suede there. You know, um, actually, uh, what is that? That's new buck. Yeah, it's got some new buck underneath the visor. So they put some extra accents in this one. 
you know, it's got some new buck uh, leather action. Then it's got a cotton sweatband on there. This is all cotton. Okay, very well made. Like I said, old school style cap that you don't really find a lot, you know, uh, available, whatnot. You know, it's got a nice lining backing on the inside. So cotton. Uh, yeah, this is actually a cotton mixed with nylon is what this is here. Uh, but very nice. You know, you look on the inside there and the back there. Very nice. The sweatband goes all the way. Again, you know, this one is no fleece in this one. This is all wool. It's got that very thick wool. Uh, the heavy, sh you know, sheep type wool. You know, that'll keep you super warm. <laughs> this one uh, is is definitely heavy duty. It's different than a lot of uh, winter uh, headwear that you see out there. Uh, you know, this one is made like the old school way of like, you know, caps that you see from like the 40s and 50s and 60s that are made for the winter. Like heavy, cold weather, you know, type. You know, so very, very nice. Folks, I appreciate you for watching the video. This is number five, you know, piece of headwear with uh, uh, ear flaps, what now? So like, share, comment, you know, in the video, like, share, comment, you know, subscribe to the channel. Got more awesome content coming your way. Again, this is G the Head Guy. If you haven't, trying to build up the, uh, the Facebook group, okay, for hats, I started it. Uh, back in 2018, but never really, you know, kind of built up on that momentum, you know, when hat groups were just starting out, you know, on Facebook. So trying to build that back up, you know, trying to be regular on Facebook, what now Facebook got kind of, you know, tedious and cumbersome. I think they fixed some of the issues that they have. It's more, you get more user friendly. And I think they probably had a lot of complaints on there. So anyways, you know, look us up. It's the hat lounge with G the hat guy for the Facebook hat group, the hat lounge, uh, with, uh, the hat guy, I'm sorry, the hat lounge by G the hat guy. That's the name of the Facebook group. Look us up the hat lounge by G the hat guy. Okay. Same name as the channel, but the hat lounge by G the hat guy. Okay. And send a request. I'll approve your request. You can post your own pictures of, uh, hats, you know, stuff on there. You know, no spam, none of that kind of stuff, you know, because I have to approve your request. So, you know, you can take pictures of yourself when you're dressed up, you know, whatever, casual, whatever, hats, caps, put your pictures on there, show your hat love, show your hat entertainment, all that good stuff, you know. So I appreciate you also on Instagram is G the Hat Guy. Follow me on G the Hat Guy. So, yeah, trying to manage multiple social media platforms. So thanks again for watching the video. Share with somebody else who might be interested. Appreciate your time uh, very much. Thank you. Bye-bye.